what's up beautiful people this is Naroma. welcome to the channel today we'll have this very interesting video and it's from the officer tatum and it's titled candace owens destroys sq ex workers on marriage hmm awesome i'm excited to check this one out and it's no news candace owens was on the whatever podcast and it was quite interesting and um lots of people have shared so many commentaries to read so yeah i'm excited to hear what um the officer Tatum of God to say regarding the podcast and um, Candice Owens' appearance on the podcast. So yeah, let's check it out. So the reason why, and if you're a man watching this, don't marry this woman. She's basically telling you she's selfish. She's telling you she's a narcissist. Everything she says is about me, 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 me. Even if you're single, you don't have to make your whole day revolve around you. <laughs> you don't have to. You can get up in the morning. You can go help others. You can do other things. You can say, now that I have free time as a single woman, I can go dedicate time to the church. Mm. I can sing. I can do this. I can help people find God. That particular woman that you just looked at is a selfish <laughs> and men shouldn't should men should not marry her. Candace out here eating them up. <laughs> this video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com makes you get one of these shirts. Never again. We just launched our new shirt because you know they're coming back with the mask mandates and all this old crap stuff. But we ain't never going to fall for that again. Put in discount code never again. I'm not going to tell you how much you're going to get off because I ain't never doing it again. So put in discount code never again and get a discount. I, matter of fact, I might make it random. I, I, may, I may change it day to day. But use a discount code to get a discount on the store. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, me and my wife, we, we started a relationship channel. We haven't launched it yet. Um, it's going to be on a... I got a surprise for you guys, and we're gonna launch it. It's gonna be explosive, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a social media, everything is gonna launch. I'm giving you a sneak peek. However, um, we talk about these subjects all the time. So Candace Owens appeared on the Whatever Podcast, and I thought it was an incredible discussion, and Candace mm -hmm. is an incredible rock star when it comes to these things. And yeah. I feel like, and this is why me and my wife did the channel, because I feel like a woman who's mature, happily married, that's a conservative, that's logical, and all of these things can give a clear perspective to young women who may be getting confused and deluged by, yeah. you know, the allure of the single, the do whatever you want, sleep with whoever you want any uh, any time, and you're just a happy person and live your life, and then they end up lonely and dying along with a little cat or a dog somewhere that they hate. So I want to play a clip, but let's preface the clip because the clip was about this young lady and the statement that she made. I'm gonna play her clip. I wanna give you a chance after playing her clip to comment in the comment section your thoughts. And then we're gonna show what Candace Owens had to say in the debate between her and the, and the other girls on whatever podcast. And also comment if you want me to go on a whatever podcast. I'm sure I can hit him yeah. up and I can go in there at some point. Roll the clip. Yeah, well, once 10 45 a.m. on a Saturday. I'm 29 and single and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10 15. Every time I thought I should probably get up and do something, I thought, why? Nobody's making me. I'm not missing out on anything. I went to Beyonce last night and I didn't get home until 1 a.m. and I danced and drank my little heart out and I didn't pay a babysitter to watch my kids as I did that. And I woke up a tad hungover this morning, just probably why I was in bed for so long. And I was just scrolling on my phone and I saw a picture of shakshuka and I thought, you know what sounds really good? Maybe I'm gonna learn how to make shakshuka today. Cause I have no plans and I don't have kids and I don't have a husband and I don't wow. have errands to run. I can go to the grocery store and learn how to make shakshuka. So that's on my agenda today. Also on my agenda, probably a rewatch of some Real Housewives of New York. I'm also doing a rewatch of Normal People on Hulu, which is really spicy and I highly recommend. Weirdly, I'm into this documentary on Netflix about blue zone countries. So I've got a pretty stacked day. Anyway, I say all this to say, whenever I'm hard on myself about why I'm not married and I don't have kids, and I should be further along at 29, almost 30. I wouldn't want to do anything else this Saturday. And I know that you can do all these things when you have kids and you're married and I understand, but the effortlessness and ease of my life, just kind of focusing on myself and the shakshuk I want to make or the Beyonce concert I want to go to really pays off when I'm hard on myself for not being where society tells me I should be in life. So <sighs> you can imagine what Candace is going to say, but I want to give just a quick commentary on that. This girl sounds like a complete narcissist. Yeah. You know, you know that you're doing something wrong and you ain't where you want to be if you have to make a video to talk about it. Yes. This girl is a narcissist. And I know and I've seen and I've heard of women just like her. It is no doubt 
that these women are actually miserable and they feel better about claiming online that they're happy. Let, yeah. let, me, let, you, let me Candace take it away. Just because she's 29, you're saying that it's like too late for her and she's going to be doing Xanax and drinking wine at night no. because she hasn't reached that point I yet. I didn't say no. that. That's not what my tweet said. Not you said the future. Yeah, I, right. because she's an, obviously a narcissist, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Why the would issue, you think first that? and foremost, let's not, let's not pretend this is one video that she made. It's her brand on TikTok. It's her brand on and social media. She talks about these, these are this community known as dinks. We're happy and we're childless. She talks about how great it is to be childless. So she has developed a, she's a social media influencer that talks about childlessness. So let's not pretend this is one woman making a video who just said, oh, I had a great Saturday. There's absolutely no reason if you had a great Saturday at 29 years old and you learned to make shashuka and you slept in at 11 until 11.15 or 10.15, like she said, that you need to bring up children. There's absolutely no reason. You just say, here's what I did today. I laid in all day. I did this. I did that. The fact that she has to correlate it to saying, and this somehow makes me better than people that have children is the problem. She, she started, she, she literally goes on to talk about not having children. It wasn't necessary in this video. So it's not like people are just shaming single women on the internet. You could go on right now and talk about what you've done all day and there's no reason to bring up, but you know, having a, ch having a child or not. She's actually doing the shaming and now we're trying to pretend that she's the victim. She's not, she has a brand where she talks about childlessness and she talks about leaning into selfishness and all the things that are amazing about not having children. Again, this is not the first video that she's produced. So the reason why, and if you're a man watching this, don't marry this woman. She's basically telling you she's selfish. She's telling you she's a narcissist. Everything she says is about me, 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 me. Even if you're single, you don't have to make your whole day revolve around you. <laughs> you don't have to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's too much. She going too hard. I, I got to digest some of this. I, I need some water around here. That's a lot to digest. And, I, and there's more, and I'm going to play the rest of the clip. But I just want you to observe what these young women are saying and what Candace is saying about this woman. She is narcissistic. Yeah. Candace brought up a really good point that she's only focused on herself. Everything that she did during her day was about her. Me, 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 me. She's never going to be married. She, she's never. It's because what I feel about children, what I'm doing today, when I woke up, I went to Beyonce, I was hungover, I can do whatever I want to do. You, you, being married and happy, it, you, you cannot be a selfish person. Yes. Your life should revolve around selflessness. selflessness. Yes. And women who live their lives are just them, them, them. That's why she's single at 29, mm. because it's about her, her, her. And then when these women get in their mid-30s, late 30s, and they realize that they want something better than it just life just being about you, it's too late for some of them. They too broken. Men didn't move on and got married. Now all of they are to some men are sex objects. They'll hit it, but they ain't finna marry you. You ain't got no, what, what, what you doing? You can't give a man a, a life with multiple kids when you have been playing till you 40. You plan to you 40. It ain't that life happened to you, you were married, got divorced, nothing. You plan and being selfish, and now you're ready and people have been moved on. That, that, that ship didn't sail. Road a clip. You can get up in the morning, you can go help others, you can do other things. You can say, now that I have free time as a single woman, I can go dedicate time to the church. I can sing, I can do this, I can help people find God. That particular woman that you just looked at is a selfish and shouldn't should mention not marrying her. That's my personal opinion. You wanted I, to come in really quick. Yes, Ooh, I wanted hot. to answer your question real quick. Ask. Now, hold on, look at how she dressed. Her her breast is hanging out. She looked like she's going to hook like. and, and, and be on her knees later on the day. Why? I don't understand why women dress like this and think of man. Yeah. Respects the man ain't. They want to just smack. And if you want a man, if you want to be an escort, then dress like this. Have your breasts out. Look at this girl. That girl breast. About to fall out. That bra is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> hanging with them fake breasts in there. The girl in the blue shirt way in the corner. That girl in the white got her breasts out. Y'all made me say T word. This girl got her breasts out. This is not a good representation as a woman, man. You, you look good. Yeah, you get attraction, but you're getting attraction in the wrong way. Wrong way, yes. A man just want to take you home. And, and, and once they do it, they know all the other dudes that did it. So they don't want to keep you. They just want to milk the cow. They're not going to buy a cow that's used and they, they, they can just milk for free. Why would they do that when they can just use you and, and pass you to the next dude? Hmm. All right. Anyway, I'm just keeping it real, y'all. So you said why it went viral. Sure. I think it went viral because it's like nowadays it's like it's Come on. 
relatable in our day and age. You know what I mean? Like 22, 23 years old. I don't know how old this girl is, but like 29 29 or whatever. But in my day and age, like it's relatable to be like, haha, we don't got kids. Like, you're 20 kids. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm glad you're admitting that. It's like that. I'm glad you're admitting that. It's like a term that people use, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's just relatable. Like, that's why it gets so many views is what to answer your question i think that's really honest of you to say that you want to come and go F- them kids yeah no i said <laughs> i'm just gonna unquote, i was gonna, what they say yeah you know but you're mean? admitting that that so that she's st- starting the fight you're looking and at people that are moms that are trending like, i don't when I, I'm not, when, when i'm with my kids right i don't post b- videos and say f them single chicks with no kids right she did the baiting okay and we responded that's it. I right. don't know. Like the first thing I was going to say. Hold on. Let's just let Essie yeah. go ahead. Go the ahead. first thing I noticed about the video was that she was. Girl, put, took your breasts away. Putting <laughs> people with kids down. It- See, look at this girl right here. She got it covered up. In the blue. Beautiful girl. I bet she's conservative. I, I, I ain't even watched the podcast. I bet she's conservative. She's modest. She got her shoulders covered up. Got her breasts covered up. This girl stuff. It, listen. Listen. I can hear that bra crying out from this video. Oh, the bra is crying to me. I can hear it. It's ah, ah, It's trying to hold them silicones in there. And then this girl got her whole stuff hanging out. And then the girl over here that was talking got her whole stuff hanging out. Women, what are y'all doing? This girl is far more attractive than any one of y'all. And of course her face looks better, but but even her, her presentation. If you were a dirty dog man and you like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm you're a little horn dog and you're like, which one am I going to approach? You have no intentions to marry. You just want to smash. Who am I going to approach at the club? It's going to be her, her, or the other girl. You're not going to approach her. Yeah. Because she looks modest. She looks like a good girl. She looks like she ain't going to give you no time of day. This girl looks like she 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 do one, she do grab one drink. That's going to fall out of there. And any woman that exposes herself like that is saying, come take me. Don't marry me. Just take me home one, real quick. That's what that says. Even though they may not feel that way, your presentation is saying that. All right. It'd be fine if she was just talking about how her day was and sporting it differently, but it seemed like almost immediately from the mm. beginning of the video that she was belittling people with kids, which I think is like the part of the problem. Mm. All right, Candace, I, Candace obviously ripped that to shreds. Um, and yes, men got their own issues, women, because men don't have no problem with me bashing them or, 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 or confronting them. <laughs> women do. So I'm just saying this for the women who got a problem with women critiquing women. I didn't make the video, Candace Owen said it. But what I will say is that, yeah, men have problems too. We can have a round table of, of, of men who are ignorant, mm. that say ignorant things and they're stupid. It's, it's popular because women are, are, are a lot more emotional when they say stupid or stuff. Yeah. That's why they got whatever podcast, Fresh and Fit, they, uh, Kevin Samuel, rest his soul, he had a show. There ain't no show where there's a round table of men talking like this. Because women, a lot of these women that they bring on are easily delusional like this one is and the other girls with their breasts hanging out all right i i, I didn't say it enough i want to know what y'all's opinions are about this I, I just really believe that young women get tricked into believing that this is this is fun for a while y'all yeah i remember when i didn't have kids yeah it is fun for a while but at some point in time that selfishness runs out and you begin to be feel devalued hmm. you don't have a purpose in life you have not created anything. And what happens to this 29-year-old 20, is she turned 30, she turned 35, 36, 37, 38. All of her other friends are married and they have kids. And she go to events and they got kids and their kids are growing up and they're playing sports and they married to a great man uh, and, and they live in this life. And when she get to 40, 45, she begin to resent all of this time she spent because it was, it did not yield mm. a truly happy life. Yeah. I should get some sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Nights are hard. When you're young, take advantage of your singleness. Do for others. Build mm. your character. But quit acting like this is sustainable over decades. This girl is really not happy. I mean, that's my opinion. She probably happy to go lucky. She's a narcissist, probably. And so she's going to be happy till she did. She'll be, she be 80 years old. I never needed a man. And, and she do this, and then she cry at night. And then she come on here and brag to y'all, and then she go cry at night. 
about her or about her singleness. And I'll tell you what, she, you, all you gotta do is ask her this. I wish I put this at the beginning of the video. All you gotta do is ask her this. How many men have you slept with in your singleness? Tons of them. You, you are not just single. You are not just out because you just living your life and it's all about you. You let dudes is hitting this, but they don't want to be with you. Hmm. And you know that, or you feel that way. That's why you divert the saying, look, I'm actually really happy with our kids and without being married. No, you are trying it, but you too busy trying to live your life and listening to the Joneses and the feminists that you just getting ran through. Dudes ain't, dudes ain't handcuffing you. They just running through. And so to default, to make, to justify your position, because you're not gonna tell us the truth. You're not gonna bring up your exes. You're not gonna be honest. You just act like you got this free life. You just, some, mm -hmm. some dude just probably left your house and you cried about it because he don't want to be with you and you thought y'all had something. All right. I, I know I'm telling the truth. I know I'm telling the truth. Well, well, well. Lots of people who always come up online to say, oh, I'm um, 28, I'm 27, or I'm um, whatever number age they are, whatever age they are, and I'm single, I don't got kids, I don't got a husband. When it, I, sometimes I ask myself, okay, but we don't need to know all of these things because we don't care. Why make videos like this? Because people like that always come up to say, or oh, society, uh, I don't um, have to have, I don't have this because um, I don't have to conform to what society makes it seem to be or wants it to be. You're already doing that when you come online because you're disturbing our ears, you're disturbing us with your cry and your little rant and all of that thing. You don't care so much, then why talk about it? I mean, there are lots of other single ladies out there that are up to 28, 29, 30, 27, and the likes that don't got kids, that don't got husband. And you don't hear them come up online to um, rant about it, to talk about it, to talk about how their day went and everything, and be like, oh, I have to do this, and da 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 da. No. Because if he, it, it, it actually shows that she is actually lonely, very lonely, because if. If you're coming out to talk about these things, that means it bothers you because it, it, it has to take a lot of um, bothering to do to, for you to talk about something because you don't have anybody around you for you to run to it about. I mean, another thing is, um, if not, some people might not even want to have kids. So the idea of you to say, oh, I don't have kids because she kept saying, no kids, no husband, no kids, and at some point it became it became really tiring, and I'm like, oh wow, this lady is just ranting. And Candice Owens did a really good job with all of that. She actually did a good job because um, somebody who is selfish, I don't think uh, people want to be around that type of person. People love people who are selfless. I mean, I know that sometimes some people have to have a little bit of selfishness in so people don't take advantage of them. And the likes but um to an extent you got to be selfless because um it's it goes a really long way especially if you're single take advantage of that i mean um candice owens did an amazing job on this podcast i've I've, I've seen the entire podcast the podcast it was four hours long as well as um, um brandon tatum he did an amazing job with this because uh lots of people don't even talk about these things they just go on a, about the day and think it's okay and for me when i see ladies who dress like that exposing their body and everything i know it's kind of cute to them and that is how they want to live their life but while you're also exposing all of your body and everything it also is sometimes in a kind of way sending the wrong message and when the kind of people that you are sending the wrong message to come to you then it becomes a problem because you be like oh why is this person staring at me because you're exposing your body you are s s telling the man come get me and that's the truth and what brandon tatum just said there is actually the truth and i don't get it most ladies think it is actually really modest to expose their entire body and everything like Come on, let's be truthful with ourselves. It doesn't look cute. It doesn't look good. I mean, to, to some cover up. I, I mean, it's not. It's not to say to bash anybody. I mean, dress however you want to dress. But honestly, when people see those things, people be like, "Oh, this person dressed and exposed this part of their body." 
it looks good on the breast and therefore let me do this thing but i mean but anyways i mean everybody has got to do what pleases them but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below regarding um the this topic because this was a really lengthy topic and um, lots of people saw the podcast and some people didn't but let me know what your thoughts are regarding what the lady um talked about the tiktok lady because um i mean everybody might not agree with what what candace owens have said or the other ladies have said but in your own point of view what, what is your contribution to what the lady said i really love your honest contribution in the comment down below and share all the useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video